Hey everybody, what is up? Welcome back to more Fallout 3. So where we last left off, we got to Megaton and talked to a few people. Now we're at a choice about the Megaton bomb. I'm so let else. us continue with that. So here hey is Gob with the radio. Don't even take a break in this. So, um, wait, radio, deactivate. Don't look at me like that. But Nova, we could talk to her, but I really don't want to. There's Gob. Hey, smooth skin. Do you need something? A drink, maybe? Anything? Anything at all? <laughs> no. Fuck, oh, what are you? Um, let me think about it for a moment, my good man. Wait, y you're not gonna hit me? Yell at me? Not even berate me a little bit? Are you kidding me? Shut the hell up. Oh, that's so evil. Well, now, that's a surprise. I'm used to every asshole smooth skin in this town giving me shit just because I look like a corpse. I'm glad to see that there are a few worthwhile people around here. Listen, Moriarty'd have my head if he caught me selling at a discount. But for you, I'll risk it. So we're getting good karma for that. Um, so, looking for my father, metal age guy. Maybe you've seen him? Oh, yeah. I do remember a guy like that. Honestly, I usually keep my head down. I tend to get smacked around if I look customers in the eyes. But talk to Moriarty, he'll know more. Okay, so... Um... This is a pretty low speech check. So let me, um... Let me just... Sorry, yeah. smooth skin. I can't take the risk. Moriarty will beat the shit out of me for even talking to you. Should have stayed before talking to him, but whatever. Let me just save. Now I gotta find more of the already, wherever he's at. There he is. Yeah, what the hell do you want? Colin Moriarty, at your service. Welcome to Moriarty's. My saloon, my home. My slice of heaven in this backwoods little burg. If you've got the caps, I've got your pleasure. Please sit down and make yourself comfortable. Your troubles are a thing of the past. Uh, okay, so I'm looking for my father. Maybe you can help oh me. my god, it's you. The little baby boy all grown up. Persistent little bastard, ain't you? Then and now it would seem. It's been a long time, kid. Oh, your daddy passed through here all right. Here and gone. Got what he came for and then left. I I'm assuming you'll do the same, correct? Oh, my okay, so this is where things start getting a little bit interesting. Um, your line of ult's been sealed for 200 years. Look, I just want to find my dad. Do you know where he is? So, um, okay. Is that what your father told you? That you were born in that hole? That he was born there as well? Oh, the lies we tell to those we love. Your father brought you to the vault right after you were born. To keep you safe, you see. I remember it well, you stayed in my saloon after all. That's right. Your father, his brotherhood a steel friend, and you, the suckling babe with nary a tit to suckle. Sorry about your mom, truly. Ah, but life goes on. Daddy lied. Life's full of little disappointments. And now you're all grown up and wondering where he's gone to. My dad told me we were born in Vault 101. Oh, I wasn't born in the vault? That's complete bullshit. <laughs> uh, you're wrong. You're a liar. Uh, let's go with the first option. Ah, I see. You know, I heard about the brainwashing that goes on down there. From some other fella, escaped. Oh, five years back. All hail the overseer. We're born in the vault. We die in the vault and all that other assorted lunacy. Kid, you've got better programming than our own deputy weld. You'd best wise up quick. Wouldn't want anyone taking advantage of you, hmm? Okay, so here's another speech check. You seem like a nice kid, so I'm going Damn to be it. straight with you. Okay, so I'm just going to reload that. I really want to pass that. Got myself all turned around in here. But then again, do I really want to pass it? Colin Moriarty. You 
You seem like a nice yeah, kid, whatever. so I'm going to be straight with you. Your dad was here, and now he's not. And yes, I know where he went. But what you're asking me for is information. And information is a commodity. And like any commodity, it must be sold at a reasonable market price. So what's reasonable? Let's say, oh, 100 caps, and daddy's location's yours. I don't have 100 caps. All right, kid. Let me help you out. You know, for all time's sake. If you don't have the caps to pay for the information, then maybe you could do a little favor for me. I don't have any caps. I just got out of the vault. What do you think I am? Uh, is there anything to get the information? Eager, eh? Good. I like that. It's nice to have a door in this shithole of a town for a change. This junky bitch named Silver borrowed quite a few caps from me. Claimed she could start funneling Jet and Psycho to me for a good price. Problem is, she scrammed with the loot and set herself up in Springvale so she can inject herself into a stupor. Get the caps she owes me, and they're yours. Yours to pay me with, anyway. <laughs> okay, uh... Galaxy News Radio is some loudmouth radio station located in the ruins of D.C. Three Dog, the king of that loony bin, keeps yapping about fighting some good fight or something. A bunch of crap. But I suppose if you wanted to know what was going on in the wasteland, that's the place to go. Me, I could care less. Uh, okay. So nothing really important to talk about now, so let's uh, get... A little bit of caps for so much information. Think about it. Yep, okay. So, I could pass that speech, but then I'm going to be missing out on some caps. I don't really want to. now with that um mr burke wanting to blow up megaton so that um gives us a little bit of a leeway on something else so if we talk to lucas sims gotta find him it's actually pretty easy to get a little topsy-turvy in here staying out of trouble i hope don't want to have to waste good bullets on your sorry hide. You couldn't if you wanted to. I met a man named Burke. He said he paid me to rig the bomb to explode. He said what? Oh, I never did like the look of him. He gave me this fusion pulse charge to rig the bomb. Here, take it. Jesus, give me that thing. Let's go find this Burke character. You're about to get an education in wasteland justice. Goody goody. So now we just follow him. And this causes a new uh, sequence. So now we can't go for the evil karma, which we weren't going to go for anyway. But this has a good side, but a um, bad side as well. And you're about to see here in a couple seconds to a minute, I think. I don't know. Anyway, it's just, it's going to happen here real soon. Load time's not too bad. You there, Burke. Explain your business in Megaton. I'm sorry. Sheriff, what are you hollering about? You know damn well what I'm talking about. The bomb. You're trying to blow it up. Have you lost your goddamn mind? Sheriff, I'm afraid there's been a <laughs> misunderstanding. Someone has surely been spreading rumors. I'll be sure to address the situation. Personally. I'm placing you under arrest, Burke. At least until I figure out what the hell's going on around here. And I'm afraid I won't be able to oblige your request, Sheriff. I have pressing matters to attend to. Now, step hey there. aside. Glad you're back. This isn't open to discussion. You're coming with me. Why Ooh, do like you knuckle-draggers always Ooh, insist on doing like things the hard way? Very well, Sheriff. Lead the way. Okay, so... Oh, I know, I know. Yeah, that sucked.
We're getting good karma for killing him. Frick has been killed. You can no longer receive a reward for blowing up Megaton. So that's what happens. Lucas Sims dies. But we do get his uh, items. So, Charisma plus one, small gun plus five. And his hat, perception card. And Burke, get his items. So, H plus five. He wore a hat, science pistol. And some glasses that we don't care about. So now, now that, that, he's, that he's dealt with. So now we got a new bolt weapon. I'm going to put that on four. And as far as the apparel goes, I need something that's going to boost my... in repair oh science and where was that hat Grab's hat for seven plus one okay now let's try and disarm the bomb hopefully I have enough to do so but my explosives needs to be 25 or higher not a problem. I think I actually have something in the aid area to do that. Let's see. That affects AP. Psycho, what's that do? Damage plus 25, no thanks. Yet, no. Mantad. So I think. I think this has something to do with it. Let me just save because I don't really like. Okay, let's. In the division. We oh, there we go. Attempt to disarm the bomb. Yeah, successfully. Yeah, successfully disarm the bomb. Cool. To see our release from the pain and hardships of this world. So now we gotta report to Lucas Sim's son. Let's find him. There he is. I think no. Yes? That's a settler. Jesus. That should be somewhere around here. did it you disarmed that thing my dad he he would have been real happy about that thank you he wanted you to have these a key in the d to an empty place up behind the brass lantern you can move in there if you want oh and talk to mora at crater side supply she can help you decorate the place all right now we just leveled up Definitely. Science. And I guess I will put the rest into repair. Alright, um, let me see. What do I want to go with? Daddy's boy. There we go. So now we have our own little place, but there's something that I need to do real quick before anybody notices. So if you try breaking into somebody's house, like, or um, break in, like lock picking, stealing, or anything, you're gonna cause like a whole bunch of hostility. But in here, there's a really important item. So I'm gonna try to get it as quickly as possible without getting noticed. 
I remember where it's at. I think it's in here. Hunting rifle. Oh, no, don't tell me I forgot where it's at. If someone comes in here and sees it, it'll cause a whole bunch of problems. I remember it being up here. There it is. All head of strength. And um, you found, you, yeah, you found a Volt Tech limited edition bobblehead. The description of the base reads, it's essential to give your arguments impact. Your strength has been permanently increased by one. Kudos. Let's get out of here before we cause any problems. And let's check out our new place real quick, and then I'm going to stop it for the day. Yes? So, this should be our house. Hello. A very nice to meet your so we have a um, bobblehead stand. And that is our butler. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Wadsworth, your personal robotic butler. I am here to look after your needs and to keep you happy and entertained. What can I do for you? So he'll give us some information. I'm, I guess he's supposed to give us a drink or something. But um, he'll also give us a haircut if we want. Um, he could tell us a joke. But that's all he really does. Of course, of course. Do so that's all he really does. And then you know our stuff that we want to store, we can keep in here, and we won't have to worry about losing it. Uh, anything in the fridge. Yeah, I got Coca Cola, food, and all that. So yeah, we can pretty much do anything we want in here. We even have our own personal bed that we can sleep in. Alright, so I'm up, I'm out of time. I'm done. Um, but yeah, I will definitely continue with this series later on. I'm hoping you guys enjoyed as much as I am. I, it's been a while since I played this. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to find everything okay. But um, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys with some more Fallout 3. Nighty night. Thank you.